Hey, what's up, guys? Felix will back here, and today we are going to be playing some Beast Hunter. <clears throat> Why are we playing Beast Hunter? Honestly, because I wanted to. There, there's no other real reason besides the fact I wanted to. Um. Also, I mean, it, I was requested. It, I think at this point it was like a week and a half, two weeks ago. Sorry, it's taken so long to get to this to actually playing it. There's a whole bunch of other decks I want to try. So, in the new set, we did get a couple upgrades. We got Hemet, and I have the super fancy Hemet, so I kind of wanted to play it. I'm playing this just because, I mean, look at it. It's a giant dinosaur plush. I want it. <laughs> uh, besides that, I think there's, like, this that's new in the deck and whatnot. I have a funny story about me trying to record this earlier, so I'm going to get into that in the first game. So... With all that being said, how about we keep the first one and let's see how it goes, all right, guys? Yeah. With that being said, I'll see you guys all there. All right. First matchup. Oh shoot, there's also fetch. Fetch is a new card as well. Kind of want to keep Renathal because I am playing Master's Call in the deck, and there's two non-beasts in Renathal and Hunt and uh, Hemet. I think I'm gonna do this. I want to keep this because there's again fairly good odds for fetch to draw a beast. Um, oh, these are not the adapt. I, I I thought the bonus effects were adapt, but I guess they are not. It's gonna be messenger buzzard on two to fetch on three. Not bad. Okay. One second. Don't keep your thoughts to yourself. Sorry about that. Uh, my virtual assistant was going off. I should have traded into the 1-1. One, one. I thought, I don't know why I thought my guy was a 2-1. I look at him like, oh yeah, 1 equals 2, right? Yeah. That's actually good for me, the fact that he actually went that way. Funny enough would be if he hit, like, the 2 drops and the 1 drops. <laughs> but he just hits 3 of the 1 drops. I think that might have been King Flush. Okay, that's not that bad. The three twos going to the four three. The two one ones are going into the four two with Wind Fury. I have a four two reborn against whatever he plays this turn. Or of course he has a better answer. Don't know what I expected. Um Really unfortunate draw. There's a whole bunch of really good draws in my deck here. I don't really want to play anything is the problem, so I want to actually get this back. I have to play this super, super slowly because I want that back. Kind of unfortunate. I have this, this. Into there, that can go into there, that goes into there. I'm just in the battlefield. Yeah, that's fine. Alright. This ain't bad. Depending what he does next turn, I do have Shade Hound with charge. Hopefully it doesn't wipe my board. It's fine. 
Uh, the play is probably Shade Hound here, plus Crackling Razor Maw on the Shade Hound. Hopefully, hit like D Shield or something. Put the further one away in my hand. So that's a fairly good draw, actually. D Shield or plus health here is the best. Elusive is actually not bad either. Since you can't target it to kill it, which is pretty good. The even thing about that one being actually decent here. Now he needs to play a minion to kill it, really. Uh, I guess he could coin out Anduin. If he has coin Anduin, I mean, it is what it is. The deck typically... Uh, no, he's playing the version that would be playing Anduin. Psychic Scream works. Anduin works. Shadow Word. Or is the one towards everything that's large. Light Bomb. Holy Nova. Dealing Bunny Stomper plus another beast from me. My hand is really good is the problem. He could actually hit my one answer that he could have played in my deck. That's annoying. Play one drop. Play one drop. He didn't play one drop. Feels bad. He'll potentially attack with that first. That's really annoying. It's really annoying that that is the one that got. To be fair, I should have done it in the opposite order. I should have put the weapon first attacked, and this way I would have gotten the. Uh... Put him into your deck? Oh, that's really unfortunate. I really can't hit anything anywhere near decent nowadays, fuck. Like, where's the Divine Shield? Divine Shield there would have been actually ginormous. This is the worst part. That's insanely good. Hitting Divine Shield there won me the game, which is the part that annoys me. Would have been able to keep my guy on board. He definitely didn't have an answer if that's what he had to do, is coin out the crush. That's tilting. The fucking Sergi? The game fucking I'm going to start talking about the funny story I had about the previous game I played. Something very similar to this happened. By very similar, I mean something identical to this bullshit happened where... I got... Yeah, like basically perfect RNG. And it, it literally just felt like there's nothing I could do. And this this game is feeling very, very similar to that. Alright. One dead card. He's just gonna kill this here, and then he's gonna play things where this is gonna eat them, but... Or he's just gonna play Anduin, and I'm gonna concede, because... This game is fucking ridiculous. Anduin? Yep. Seems about right. Like, there's... there's nothing... I could not even afford this game any better.
I shouldn't concede, but there's still potential odds that I can actually win this game, which is the worst part. It's very unlikely, but there is definitely odds. If I drive Hydralodon... If I had if I draw Hydralodon plus Strangle Thorn Heart, there's odds I can actually win the game, which is the big thing. Take a piece of hot garbage out of my deck, out of my hand. Crackling Razor Mob is by far the best card in my hand. I think he's guaranteed it. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I just need a hit. And he hit Hydralodon and he hit Stranglethorn Heart. Of course, that's the card he stole. Probably the best card he could have stolen now in my entire deck because that he hit he hit fucking poisonous. They fucking serious, G. They fucking serious. Maybe I should have held for Starving Buzzard, but... Can't believe he actually hit Poisonous. He hit the 1 in 9. I missed on both of mine, like... Oh, it's fucking tilting. That is fucking tilting. Yeah, I shouldn't have played everything in my hand actually. Because now if I draw Starving Buzzer, I'm fucked and I just lose the game. I have Crush, I have Double Tundra Rhino, I have Double Shade Hound. Five things. I have to go for it. Oh, I didn't. I forgot that I had this guy, but absolutely get fucking dick down raw, kid. Oh my god. This is why you, this deck can't concede. That was. That was like a thousand damage, I feel, on board. Fuck. Oh my god. The fact is, you can actually. If you summon six dudes. Say the only ones you've played were one Rhino, two Shade Hounds, and Hydralodon. You can play the bonus effect, dude, because he costs two. That gives it to all of your guys. And if you hit Winfrey on your Shade Hounds, plus six plus six to your board is mental. And if you hit it on both, it's plus eight plus eight. That's like a free win. This is why you don't ever concede with this deck. As tilted as you get, you should never concede because... Fill your board with 5 plus cost beast is broken. Anyways, uh, with that being said, let's uh, queue up the next one. Did I really hit someone else playing this deck? That would be hilarious to me. Well, both of these. I actually really, really like this hunter deck. This deck is surprisingly fun for what it is. I'll be honest. Shadehound is a really good draw. I love this card. This card is so cool. I'm gonna say something that's gonna sound very controversial, and I won't deny the fact it is. Kind of wish Shadehound had charge, or would gain charge. Default rush gain charge. 
make Hunter good again. To be fair, that could like legitimately never happen. That is actually ridiculous. But one time. But he is an insane start. He actually gets to trade. He's letting me kill off the starving buzzard for free. For free? This is only worse if I hit one beast. I want my starving buzzard back. For next turn. This is, this is insane. There is no reason he should have let me keep my guy around. He actually got value out of player in this matchup. Kind of surprised. One of the reasons why Hunter, I feel, is actually good right now is how much card draw it has for a deck that is very tempo heavy. It's a little ridiculous. That's an insane draw. That's an insane get. This here. That Tundra Rhino is going to be very clutch. Uh, to see how the second one, even then, I don't like the concept of leaving an opponent have that much value. Okay, he has the Devouring Swarm, right? Or else he loses because he's out of Tundra Rhino, or Starving Buzzards, and I still have my Starving Buzzard. That's an insane top deck. That is actually a filthy top deck. Funny enough, I can also get it. That is a dirty card to draw. They both cost zero. I'm gonna start with this. I'm gonna end on that. Does both of these cycle? Uh, eat. So I can actually throw this here. I want my starving buzzard back. It's not the best thing to kill, but I want the starving buzzard back. Again, just being able to milk that card for so much value is filthy and. That's fine. Completely fine. Do I just burn a shade hound here? Threw it yellow? I'm fine with that. I'm sad that this didn't die. I really wanted this to die, but alas, it's fine. That's fine too. My board is much bigger than his, and I have the other Shade Hound in hand. Sadly, I'm one mana off going for like huge shenanigans, but that's good enough. This is 10, 13, 14, 15, 18, or 19. This bonus pick. I'm gonna go for it. Okay, yellow. I don't know. <laughs> Shade Hound, man. What a card. Note this whole game could have been so different if he took turn two to trade into my guy. He probably won't see that as a mistake, but if he would have killed my guy on two by trading both of his guys in, it doesn't feel right, but it's absolutely right to protect uh, the buzzard. It is absolutely correct. Is this way you don't have to waste two mana in a future turn, and if I don't have an answer to it, then... You have a full turn just drying out your deck, and you're so far ahead, it doesn't even matter. Even if you just play two cards, right? As long as you play, like, something, maybe something with Taunt, maybe something not. But you still generate so much value that it becomes hard for your opponent to outpace you.
and this is a super tempo heavy game and like in the matchup and he had to that that legitimately made him lose tempo and it's not even close anyways though let's uh queue up the next one Alright. I want to keep this. This card is so good. Especially if I queue into aggro, this card is so good. This gives me somewhat of a curve. Zero mull everything or keep this. I think I have to do this. It gives me a decent curve. I know it's not quest here, but going first means that I can actually tempo this out, especially if it is aggro. If not, control the sense really bad now. That's a very good draw though. If he rats this out on two, I like win the game. <laughs> I should have actually probably played this first. a better plan too not too much damage pushed but i i want a divine shield or reborn if i'm being honest but no oh, hey it is what it is that's a huge draw no whammies no whammies that's another huge draw this turn ideally i draw hemet or prince Raise the odds of a master's call. Actually, ideally, I go. Right, I have to play this first here. I'm, I could get punished, but hey. Value. Do I burn a card now? No, my god. Now I start tempoing out shit. The this thing is, this thing is filthy. It's like this, this this probably oh wait actually i guess i just killed that off i lose a stomper but it's fine this is not a game where i think i actually have to try to go for just like an otk style play especially with how good his start has been especially the second raza if you have second round, so I think I actually still lose. Uh, well, I saw a minion every single time. That's a perfect thing to get countered. Thanks, Prince. Using hero power multiple times here is so expensive for him to save three health on your dude. Alright, well, I think I forced him to have an answer, right? I just go Hydralidon and say, bitch, test me. Fuck. Yeah. Bitch, test me. Fuck. <laughs> This makes it really hard. It's three hero powers, which leaves him with one mana, which means he's a one and a zero cost card. Or needs death or something like that. He actually hit the death. Ah, so I just have a full board of three twos. Or three ones. I'll take it. Oh, it doesn't work the way I thought it worked. Oh, it feels bad. It is what it is. All right, well... Draw some cards. It's what card I really want to play, but I'll play this here first. Never lucky. Did this get taunt? This got taunt? That is tilting.
He's gonna eventually run out of board wipes. And when he does, I'm gonna be in a very good position. Play this. I'll start with this. Oh, I should have started with this actually first of all, but that's a pretty decent card. One I can play this now, two three dudes. I'll play one of the dudes in hero power. No, not telegraph anything too hard, but I'm definitely representing Tundra Rhino Shadehound next turn. Oh, I should have played another thing. Because if I burn Stranglehorn, I lose the game. Yeah, I lose the game if I play Stranglehorn. I should have played another dude. He's almost gay. He's almost guaranteed to kill something. That's fine. That's a fine burn. I'm gonna guarantee draw this here. So right now I have Hydralodon and that's it inside of there. Disciple. I'm just gonna go Tundra and I'll shade how next turn and pass and be like, look, if you have an answer, you have an answer. If you don't, I win the game. It's pretty good for him, actually. It's really, really good for him. Probably put Hemet on top here. I don't know. I'll take that. That's a that's a that's a pretty good one. Believe it or not. All right, he's done. Shanglehorn here is Tuncher. I know Shade Hound and uh... what's his face? Oh, what? What a beast of a card, fuck. Ugh. Pretty good. Pretty good. Man, this deck is so good. If you guys want a new tempo deck to play, and you guys are just like, man, all the current meta decks feel like shit. Oh, Beast Hunter, man. That deck is... I'll, I'm gonna say it, the deck is cracked. Straight up, the deck is fucking cracked. Fifty mana with one? How do you even do that? You need like multiple crushes, though. Four king crush is 36. Five is 45. Seen like five king crush plus a shade hound. That's that's a lot of mayonnaise. Uh, I'm gonna be opening once again a witchwood pack, trying to complete that set. It will eventually. My goal, I think, is kind of to like complete like one set per expansion, like, or two sets per expansion. I feel like that's a pretty safe number to hit I feel like it's a very doable number to hit as well sorry about that um man looking through all these old things it's just trippy okay I'm gonna stop wasting that uh tell you open nothing good in that pack but yeah getting back to it I kind of want to try to complete two sets of expansion I think if we're doing three expansions, that's still gonna be a couple years, but 
Unless I decide to drop actual cash, which I don't really want to. I guess I have dust I could also spend, but uh, I'm trying to find expansions. Is it's in okay? It's in here. I'm achievements. There we go. If I go to collection. It's like how many do I have left to complete? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and. 11 12 that's four years roughly it's gonna be a while but it's still technically doable <laughs> it'd be cool to just have the entire set or the all like the entire every card and then eventually do caverns in time but caverns is gonna take forever because it's also getting a whole bunch of cards i'll already have so i have every other card in the game but it's still something i'm thinking about Maybe once in a while I'll buy just a couple wild packs and we'll just open them on stream. That could be fun. Anyways, though, Beast Hunter. I feel like I've said everything positive I can say about a deck to this deck. It's really fun. It's really good. It's a rogue deck, so not that many people see it coming. When they queue into Hunter, they're like, yo, what the fuck's going on? It got some pretty cool buffs and some pretty fun buffs in Hemet. Uh, Fetch felt ridiculously strong. This card still feels strong. This card, this card straight up feels feels like it makes it this and this. And those two cards are ridiculously good. Stranglehorn is maybe the strongest win con in the game. Because it's a single card that actually just wins you the game. That's really hard to interact with, seeing that there's only really low them. It's I think it's the single strongest individual card that you don't get from rewards, right? Because from awards, I guess no, maybe it's probably still Zamari or whatever the fuck the dragon's name is that takes an extra turn. But it's it's definitely up there, and it's just, I don't know, no one plays it for some strange reason. I I love this card, it's super cool. The jingle it plays is also really nice. Hydralodon is my favorite titan. I don't even really think it's, or sorry, not titan, a colossal minion. I think it's my favorite. The only other one that's like really fun is like Gigafin or whatever his name is. Uh, the Marlock for Warlock. Marlock for Warlock. But yeah, like this card is just dope. I love Shade Hound as a card. Super, super cool how. Like just the theming behind it is like infuse three beasts die. He has the scent of your enemies. And then it's just like, alright, I'm gonna run after them. It's it's pretty dope. Master's Call, one of the strongest card draw spells in the game. Like it's just. Everything in this deck is just good, and I don't understand why fewer people play it. Like, I understand it's fairly expensive because you have, like, two big legendaries you need, kind of, for the deck that are only played here. And then if you play this version, you need two other ones. But even then, I see people playing, like, Reno Priest all the time that has, like, 15 legendaries in it. So, like, this deck is, like, relatively cheap. Most of it's commons and rares. And then you just have, like... I don't... Is there, there's one epic in this deck? Like, total? There's there's one epic in the deck, four legendaries. That's five if you count Renathal, but you know, it's it's fairly cheap. And it's still really, really insane. I would I would recommend it to everyone. Anyways, with all that being said, I hope everyone enjoyed. If you guys did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. It's always follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys all on the next one. Peace.